Hi beauty fam, welcome back to Mickey Car Beauty and Mickey Carico and on my channel I love to talk about luxury skincare, beauty and sometimes luxury goods and today I am doing a demo and review of Prada Beauty. I ended up getting two of the eyeshadow quads and these are the two that I got the purple and the green one. I ended up getting two lipsticks and then trying to find my perfect foundation shade, which this actually isn't the right one, but I ended up working with it. So if you're interested in seeing me demo and try on and give swatches of two quads, two lipsticks, the soft matte, and then the, the hyper matte or like the ultra matte, and then MW50 and MW40 for foundation, then keep watching. But before we continue, please remember to subscribe to my channel, click the notification button for all so you get notification of when my videos get loaded, and then comment and like below. Please be kind and considerate on my channel, and as always, and, um, and with that out of the way, let's begin. Okay, so I ended up getting two mattes, one in the hyper matte and then the soft matte. And then I got two palettes, the green one and the purple one, and I'll tell you the exact names. And for the life of me, I could not figure out the right foundation shade. I was, and I ended up getting medium warm 40, but then I was even worried that that was going to be too cool or too light. So I ended up getting medium W50, but I'll show you those products. At this time of filming, you can go to Prada Beauty, their website, and then you can also go to Harrods and then Selfridges. And at the time of the purchase, I ended up doing the math. It ended up being better for me to buy the products from Selfridges. I ended up paying that $50 per year where you get free shipping. You still get hit with the import taxes and fees, but it still ended up being cheaper for me uh, to buy it from Selfridges. This is the product for the foundation. It's called the Reveal Skin Optimizing Refillable Foundation, 30 mils, which is the standard. I ended up getting this for $54 through Selfridges. On the Prada website, it looks like it's $70. And they are really conscious about the packaging with this launch about being eco-conscious. They say it's an eco-design, meaning I think they reduced the footprint of refillable packaging. 12 month shelf life, so I ended up getting medium W40, which is medium warm. And over time, this is the claims, augmented complexion. Instantly unifies skin with an all day soft matte seamless and flexible coverage, optimizes light diffusion in real life and on screen with the IRL micro filter technology, blurs the look of pores and fine lines. Over time, improves overall skin. Skin feels moisturized, diffusing a healthy glow, refines skin texture. And I think it's pretty clever. I'm just gonna show you really quickly up here. So this is the product design we know is the um, inverted triangle, but within there is the QR code. Sorry about that, which is the QR code, which I think is so, so very clever. The packaging on this is just, I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, they, even the texture on the box is part of that Safiano leather that they have of their leather products. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's stitched them in this box. And inside is like this muted peppermint green. And here is what the foundation looks like. Again, this is MW40, 40. Just by looking at the website, this looked like to be a good match. But then I opened it and I was like, what is going on? And you'll see what I mean in a second. So this is MW50. So I figured if I went up a whole, there's actually a MW45 and there was one in between. So I figured the MW50 would be a lot deeper, but look at this beauty fam. It's so confusing. The MW40 looks even warmer. So I don't know what's going on. This is actually the refill. Okay, so I'm gonna take it out of the packaging so you can see. Beautiful packaging. So this external part is plastic and this is uh, the container that's reusable. So you take the container off and then this is how you're supposed to use a foundation, but you can take out the refill. It's a pretty firm sheath. And then you have this uh, square on the outside. Is, so this is the actual packaging that's re, uh, reusable. So again, this is MW40 and this is MW50. And these are glass containers, as you can hear. And I don't think I would travel with these without the protection. So you can see MW50 looks almost more yellow, right? And I, again, I film in natural lighting as much as possible just so it can get more realistic. 
and I'm just gonna put this up to my face so you can see. So this is MW50 and this is w MW40. Put MW40 back in the packaging. So you just go ahead and put that back in here. And, um, but it, the packaging is beautiful. And then you get the Prada up here, the logo, Prada, blank, and then Prada. Optimize your skin tone, luminosity, and texture over time. Lactobacillus extract complex refined skin texture, 100 active niacinamide enhances skin's natural radiance and vitamin e improves the skin there are 33 flexible shades and i'll show you the shades here this is why i was like so confused of like which one to get and optimized pump dose dispenser designed to deliver optimized dosage one pump for light medium coverage and two pumps for medium to full coverage and and it says that the technology has flexible shades, AI technology powered and human tailored to design 33 flexible shades with weightless buildable coverage for customizable wear. Optimize your skin tone and luminosity and texture. Soft filtered skin in real life. Advanced IRL microfilter technology microcrystallizes onto skin to optimize light diffusion, revealing a natural and seamlessly filtered complexion. Claims to tone lumin be luminous and uh, reveal a soft filtered skin in real life. These foundations boost a breathable soft matte finish at up to 24 hour wear. Medium buildable foundation. The technology consists of a smart molecule that micro crystallizes onto the skin. It is life proof and transfer resistant. Okay, so it says it's transfer resistant. Potent ingredients optimize skin over time. AI technology powered and human tailored. The shade design is based on an algorithm of 3000 different skin tones scanned for shade optimization made for different skin tones and skin types, including sensitive skin. I, <laughs> I'm one of those people that it's really hard for me to find foundation. Um, as you can see, I actually have aging skin, rosacea here. I've actually cured my eczema, but because I'm in summer now, as much as I'm using SPF, I'm still picking up color. So I'm gonna do is shake this MW40 and then show you what it looks like. And we'll do a side-by-side -side swatch comparison. So that's one pump, MW40. Actually, I'm gonna just might as well just do two so you can see. See, it's a bit runny, MW50, just so you can see. Uh, and then it is so obviously lighter. I'm trying to find on the package if this is mislabeled at all. But that is definitely way too light for my skin tone. So, so what we'll do is I will put some primer on. This is my tried and true Sisley Double Tensor. <laughs> the, sh the shades. <laughs> I apologize. I just can't. I think it's just so funny. This is like trying to find your foundation match saga. So MW40 is what they've given me. Right. MW40 from the box. This one here and MW50 from here. This was, yeah, MW50. I'm gonna grab this MW40. Go ahead and put this on one side of my face. It does have perfume and scent. I can smell it already. Okay, this is way too light. Okay, so this is why I do reviews, so, and partially why I started my channel. So you can tell this is way too light. That's my face without any foundation. That's with. It's definitely too neutral, too light. Um, in terms of the texture, it's nice. It, it looks like it's like a medium full coverage. That was one full pump on one side. Okay, let's put it on for fun. And then so you can see really. This is what they sent me for MW50. Taking my Sonia G fusion brush. Whoa, I might have to do all my makeup over. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay, so clearly this is way lighter. This is M50 and this is M40. 
it does, yeah so there's a perfume but the whole thing is like this is actually really going on really nicely it's like a medium full coverage it doesn't emphasize my pores okay so what i'm going to do is actually take this side off and finish with m w 40 even though it's too light but at least it'll be a little bit more consistent okay so going into m w 40 the shade here which is way too light but we're gonna just use it because i have it Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm switching to studio lighting now because what's happening with the sun going down is actually looking to look more gray cast, but you can really still see that it's too light, but it doesn't look as bad. Other than the shade being wrong, I actually think uh, it looks quite nice. Yeah, this is a really nice foundation. Um, the perfume on this is dissipating. It's not like Guerlain or Chanel that kind of lasts for a long time. This one is just dissipating as I put it on, which is nice. So I have like a lot of acne scars and dark spots here. It covered that and it covered up my rosacea pretty well. Um, okay, we're just gonna go with it and yeah, beauty fan. Just know I know this is the wrong color. So don't come at me looking at me that, you know, I'm trying to look lighter than I am. It's just the wrong shade. And I'm really just baffled on what color to get. So if you've tried this or seen other reviews, let me know. I think I might have to go up to 50 or 60. I'm pulling out the first Prada eyeshadow and this is 01 Portrait. A, por a portrait of reinvented nudes with an azalea twist. This is a fashion curated combinations from patterns to picnics and I'll put a picture of where this color story is inspired from. This is inspired from a previous Prada print. Really beautiful. And the way this quad works, I ended up getting this $72 from Selfridges. On the Prada website, it's 80. So it says a maximal color, minimal effort. Prada dimensions are creating using a low pressure and injection process with micro pixel pigments which deliver one stroke payoff with high color resolution. The hybrid creamy powder finish eyeshadows blend and layer without a fallout, while their skin affinity provides weightless comfort and up to 12 hour durable wear. Infused with Plucanitia volubilis oil, Prada Dimensions offers a seamless glide on application and gives eyelids a smoother Gives the eyelids a smoother look after 28 days of consistent use. Auto Dimensions is inspired by the iconic prints from the house archives. Every eye palette is the unique combination of three sophisticated neutrals and a single eccentric accent. The shade here. Um, and in four dynamic finishes, including satin, which is the middle shade, soft matte, which is the dynamic eccentric shade, hyper matte, which is the top one, and then the metal foil okay so that's this one here an invitation to explore all your all your dimensions and to experiment endless combinations of easy to wear easy to dare eye looks with maximal color expression the packaging is so luxe so it's definitely plastic but it's a heavier plastic the top of here is where you're, you're seeing the logo it's uh, silver but the side is kind of like this muted gold so this is meant to be refillable i'm going to show you i'm going to take it comes with brushes, which they look really sleek. I love the brushes. They look really, I mean, the whole design on, and packaging of this product, I think, is just so sleek and just beautiful. So that is the packaging. The brushes are matte and they're flush. So I'm going to take out, I'm going to show you how this refill works. You push on this, uh, the Prada tri inverted triangle, you push it and it pushes out the refill, right? So this is what it looks like, you can see. And then if you want to put it back, it's actually there's a magnet. Okay, so I think it's really cool. Okay, so we're gonna to do two different looks with each eye, and I'm gonna to try to do this look with one eye. Just grabbing a refer, and I think a lot of that is just gonna be that, I'm gonna start with that satin shade here. Got you a little closer, so I'm using that um, middle satin shade just to create some dimension. I actually do like this color. It's like this orangey brown. It's actually really pretty. It's 
not a mat so it's actually easier for at least for me to put on i think it's such a this is a beautiful color for me and my skin tone this is like a beautiful one and done going into my lotus series this is the sonia g brush and then going into that purple shade pretty and because it's not super impactful it's actually pretty a pretty light shade meaning it's not super pigmented I thought it was going to be like really impactful purple but it's not it's actually pretty smooth it's nice it doesn't emphasize my lines which is nice it's a nice thing for the mattes and I'm just packing it on I'm not um, doing this like the windshield wipers what I'm doing is just kind of building the colors by patting it on I'm going in with the Sonia G soft definer of the lotus series i'm going into that soft matte shade and i think this is really pigmented I'm just going to use that for as effect of really intensifies intensifying it almost looks like they went into that satin shade and went underneath it it's almost like a super smoky look and because i have hooded lids i like to go in and just kind of emphasize some sort of crease that I don't have so I'm going into that deepest matte here call it the hyper matte and just kind of building up a crease look here and I'm again I'm just patting that in to smoke it out grabbing this uh, Smith 253 brush 253 yep this is like a diamond head brush I'm going into that foil shade and then because here already I'm just going to add that foil to the brow bone really pretty so what I'm going to do is just kind of clean up the edges a little bit the purple shade is much prettier than I thought it'd be purples can be really hard to do I think this is a really nice purple okay so that is the first look and then we're going to do a second look with the purple based on the pictures okay so I'm going to just use all of the satin shade here all over my lid so I just I'm kind of curious to see how it looks as a one and done I think this could be so pretty by itself and then even using that gold right over it I actually really love the shade I actually love a lot of these shades this can be a very neutral palette you don't have to use the purple you see how that's such a nice color going into that super matte here color and just starting to go and build up the smokiness of and then I'm taking again this deep shade using that as the bottom to line this is a really nice matte color it could be used as a liner I'm going back into that satin shading and doing what I did on the other eye and just going underneath it what I'm going to do is actually try my finger and see how this looks if I just use my fingers This is a really nice shimmer shade. It doesn't have fallout. It's very smooth. There's definitely some oil in here. Um, it reminds me of like a less intense Natasha Denona, but like a thinner formula. This is really nice. Almost like, I want to say it's almost like a Surat or Suku shimmer, shimmer kind of look. Um, I like this shimmer more than the YSL that I tried. So the YSL is more has more actual glitter chunks and it had fallout, whereas this is just more of like a true shimmer. It's very thin. It doesn't add texture or uh, wrink, like emphasize my um, uh, texture of my eyes, which is the opposite of the YSL. The YSL was very pretty, beautiful, but added, actually it added more texture. This is my, one of my um, favorite brushes, the classic crease. I'm just going back in here with the brown shade and just smoking it out more. And just again, just like placing it here. So you could stop here. This is a very wearable look of like without the purple. I'm going to actually grab that same Lotus series brush and then pack that purple on in the middle. Kind of run it along the line here and I might have to switch brushes to get more precise we'll see 
So what I'm going to do is finish my eye look and then come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, beauty fam, I am back. I finished the eye look. I just put some Wayne Goss uh, liner um, on the tight line and then used this purple Surratt Autographic liner, Mecca Giga Black on the bottom, and then Dark Star Mascara on the top, and then kind of just did my eyebrows really quick with this Jones rose. So again, these are two different looks. And then, so this is the look from the website and I'll put it here. It's the look I'm trying to emulate. And then this is the other eye look. And certainly if you didn't want the purple, and I'll put the look here, if you didn't want that purple part in the middle, you wouldn't have to use that at all. So let's talk about the quad. I think it's beautiful. I can see how this is kind of like the accent shade, but if you cover that up, the rest of it is like a really a basic, <laughs> basic, really kind of everyday, everyday color. And I love it. I actually had didn't have many expectations other than I wanted to try it because I think Prada had come out with makeup before but I had never tried it back then and I think there is a bit of oil in this formula which is nice it reminds me a bit like a actually I'm going to retract what I said about it and being it like Natasha Denona it reminds me of a cross between Suku's formula and the signature eye series which has oil in it and a mix of Suku plus the old Byredo those oyster shell formula when what's her name Issa French was the creative director there it's a bit like that formula and then this is probably the creamiest this foil this shade here but it's very very thin which I like the Byredo one's a bit crumblier so these are pretty thin I actually like that this isn't so pigmented that you can just build it up I think it makes it more accessible and wearable so if you're looking for this to be like a super editorial palette I don't think it's going to be like Natasha Dona, Denona or Pat McGrath style, but I think for someone who wants like a really elegant look with a bit of an edge, this is your gal. <laughs> like I think it's, I think it's hot. I think, I think this whole packaging is just really beautiful. So, um, my makeup kit, what? I'm grabbing this Serena bronzer. This is a gel formula from Shanti Kai and I'm starting to use this one more because two reasons and you're seeing why can you see how much it's like a bronzer plus a blush on me and I didn't wasn't able to do that before because I was paler but I think because of the nice shade that I'm am this whole year this just works as a beautiful like bronzer contour shade and oftentimes when I use this Serena I don't have to use blush and again, I'm using a squirrel hair brush, Chikahodo. This is a Z8 brush. It runs on the warmer side for me, but I don't mind it. And then I'm going to put some bronzer here because <laughs> this is too pale. Okay, so it doesn't look as bad. And ignore these. These are actually mosquito bites I got on vacation. And then what I'm going to do now is grab the lipsticks. And then after we do these, then we'll grab... We'll move on to the green eyeshadow. I have BO2 Quartz, the Dynamic Brown Infused with hints of pink or for a touch of delicacy so even though it says brown it, on me it looks very pink so controlled application square ring for a better hold okay and this because it's like the intense um matte the uh the bullet this side is gold whereas the kind of the soft muted matte is just silver and the, it says that there's a defined lip contour triangle shaped bullet. So it, that is the triangle, inverted triangle for Prada. And the texture is that Safiano leather. Super, uh, it does have a scent, which I'm not happy about. It smells like Prada monochrome hyper matte delivers maximal color in one stroke coverage. A sophisticated matte finish for up to 12 hours with minimal feel on lips. Uh, it has jojoba oil, bifidus extract, 13 profound colors formulated with a black base, and only three pure pigments to reproduce the Safiano Leathers high integrity color depth. Okay, and so there's like four different shades. They kind of put them into orange lipsticks, red lipsticks, pink lipsticks, and brown lipsticks. 
and this falls into the brown lipstick category. The product swatches, you have Prada right there, and these are refillable, so I'll show you. But you basically take it out that way, and then you can just buy the refills for a cheaper, and there's a snap closure if you heard it. And you can buy the refill for cheaper if you want to try it more. So really curious to try this formula. Okay, zooming you in and then using the triangle bullet and seeing how this looks like. There is a smell. It, it's, it smells like the same scent that is in the foundation. So let me see what this lipstick looks like. It's very pretty. It's very like, it has no brown for me because of my skin tone, but it has brown elements. It's supposed to be matte, but it doesn't seem matte to me. It seems like, um, almost like a satiny matte because it doesn't cover all my pigments that I see underneath. So it's almost like a pinky nude on me. This might do better with lip liner. Yes, I'm grabbing Muse from Lisa Eldridge. Okay, it's a little better. I definitely wish I put on lip liner before. I don't know if this is the color to go with this look, but it is what it is. I think it's pretty nonetheless. It is pretty. I feel like this is a nice summer neutral pink. I think it's really, really pretty. I do like it. I'm glad I got this color because I wanted like a kind of a neutral pink to go with kind of anything. There is a slight magnet in there. So if you hear that, super pretty. I am really pleased with this eyeshadow. I knew I would like the purple one. It was on one I was eyeballing. I almost didn't get it because I have a lot of purple, but I saw that I could not use the purple and it could be kind of like an everyday neutral palette. And then I knew I wanted a lipstick, so I'm glad I got this. This is a neutral pink. Let me try the really bright one. So the other one is the Prada Monochrome. This matte finish, minimal feel. Has the Prada Triangle, which I've actually worn down with the swatches. Okay, so we'll try and see what this looks like. Okay, this really is really bright. <laughs> okay, let me share it out. Y'all know I like to just use my finger to just soften the look and make it look like a pillowy effect. Okay, that's a lot better. I think that, you know, I always like to make the lips look a little bit more pillowy. 127 Soft Matte Carmineal. I think... Lisa Eldridge lipsticks have ruined me from liking other lipsticks. I do think it's pretty. What's about this red is like there's a, it's like a soft blue, blue based red. It's really pretty. I do like it. I just don't wear a lot of reds, but I think, you know, for a special occasion, I would definitely pull this out. I think it's like a really nice red. Do you like Carmen 127 Carminio with this look or the quartz color? You let me know. And tell me what you think about this foundation. It looks like it's actually, I wonder if actually it's oxidizing so that it doesn't look as pale as with, before. So I'm back with the second quad. This is 04 Poetry, a poem composed of a dusty pink with a hint of billiard green. And it's based on this fabric above here. Super beautiful. Again, a lot of these dimension eyeshadows are based on past Prada textiles and prints. satin shade here which is almost like my skin color but we'll see if it actually shows up it just might end up being like a primer kind of color 
Okay, so it's really indetectable to the eyes or undetectable to, my, to the eyes that it's almost like um, a muted, a muted peach on me. And it'll just probably be part of the transition color. This crease shade, classic crease Sony G, and then going into that deeper shade because I have to be able to create some sort of crease here. For some reason, this matte shade on top right here, um, I think it's more chocolatey and not as deep as the other matte shade in the other palette. But it's building, if you can see. Just grabbing a clean brush to kind of buff out the edges. I haven't used this. This is a Sable Hair Isom brush, 336. And then using, it's like an angled brush, if you see, look here, it's an angled brush. Just using that to create more of a crease with that deeper shade. Basically, I'm trying to smoke out. It almost, this deep brown shade, translates to a plum on my skin tone. Grabbing my Refer 02 brushes is one of my favorite flat brushes. Super versatile, look at that green. It's like a, yeah, billiard green. It's like a, if you've played pool before, it's the fabric on a pool table. Again, these aren't ones that you want to do windshield wiper motions. These are definitely pack on shades. They remind me a little bit of pigments. They're not a super dry matte. I don't think it's emphasizing my texture at least, which I don't mind. Okay, I just cleaned off that Smith brush and then going into, I love this. This is like a, a pinky rose gold color going into for the inner corner. Ooh, this is a fun one. Again, going into that matte shade and this is where they smoke it out to the bottom. And then wiping it down and then going into that satin made satin shade and then going underneath it just to kind of soften up the lines a little bit. Okay, so that is one eye look. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm going into the second eye look, which is the more editorial look this one here and we'll see how that looks it's um pretty green but we're gonna try it and then taking just another rougher 02 brush okay and i'm going to take some setting spray and then my brush to wet it this is like a Edit, um, a liner brush that you can use for editorial looks and then I'm going in with the deepest shade here Pretty. And I can see where it's definitely more plum leaning, if you can see. I'm going to go into that rose gold shade, this one here, and just put that brush in there. These are brushes I got online. I'll put the link below. And then going on the inner part of this look here. deeper deeper plummy purple shade and just smoke out the bottom and then kind of wing it out a little bit a little bit and then going into that satin shade and just running it underneath okay so I'm gonna finish my eyes and then I'll be back okay beauty fam I'm back with the final look I finished with B2 quartz I just think the red would be just too much so I decided on this color but this time I lined with Lisa Eldridge um, a fair liner which I think is a better because it's a bit more brown and orange which kind of tones down the pink or at least contrasts with it so I recommend that liner instead if you have it and then finish with Mac Giga Black on the bottom for um, the Dark Star Mascara Pat McGrath and then for the liner I did a combination of the Coco Kajal of 
Victoria Beckham um, beauty um, tight lined and then I smudged this Natasha Denona teal color the macro tech eye crayon this is willow this is from the Yucca palette really that cool. release it's definitely a, a more editorial look so that is the eye look and this is the one I was copying from the website And then this is the other look, copying it from the website. I do like this lipstick color now that I found the right liner. So I think such pretty colors, you know, green, greens, purples, and blues are my color, especially as I get more tan and with my makes my brown eyes pop. I love it. I think it's a nice combination between the billier green and like the pinky peach of that rose gold tint yeah between this color and then this it's a fun color combination to play with and then this is you know i wish this was a little bit deeper a little bit more peachy because it's just my skin tone so i think i'm again right in that middle where i see it on me but it's not registering on camera and then this matte color, it's not really a brown here. You can almost see it there. I'm going to shift it. It is definitely a plum color. And I think about those Pat McGrath plums that she likes to do. Uh, and I think it's a really nice kind of contrast with this color story. You know, I if you're asked to ask me which color story I like more, I think this is more fun. But I'll probably get more use out of the Zero One portrait. And then that's the purple quad and then this is really fun though in terms of being editorial i'm glad i got this this is really this is really fun i i did see some screen images of people using this quad and i was like oh i was a little worried but i like how it turned out on me review i think i really love this color the best um the formula for mattes lisa eldridge has ruined <laughs> all mattes for me but i think this is a really wonderful matte as well it doesn't you know it does take some work to cover up all of my pigments underneath but i think it's just fine i'll keep wearing these and then give you a review i think this is a fun color the soft um the soft mattes but i just don't use red all that much but this will be nice for a, a nice occasion i do like the packaging the packaging it reminds me a little bit of these by rado shimmering lipsticks and these are definitely uh, heavier and more luxe these are definitely magnetized as well but these are actually heavier and i feel like these are plastic where these are actually metal so i do kind of like these packagings more but they're both really beautiful like they're very similar i have a lot of lipsticks so i think i might just be happy with this one uh, in terms of the quads again i like the editorial nature of the green one because i don't get to play much with greens as much as like this billiard green is really fun i have a lot of different greens and i have actually have I'll put it up here and down below i have a series on green eyeshadow so i think this is really fun for a green editorial eyeshadow if I were going to do a little bit more of not as like va va voom as like editorial look I think I just might do a little bit a speck of green at the end I don't think I'll be picking up any more there were maybe three other colors and the only other one that I was interested in was the one with the yellow and then the platinum shimmers but i already have the glam palette and i just bought the yucca palette this year which has a yellow in it so i'm trying to be good on just getting palettes i know i'm going to get a lot of use of so i know my favorite colors are blues purples and greens so i ended up getting these because to me these were a little bit more of a unique color story if that yellow one were ever to go on sale, I would definitely buy it. I'm on the fence if I would buy any more mattes. If they come up with more colors that are more neutral or brown, I think I saw some colors that were Merlot that were colors I think I might like in the the fall. So I'll look at that. I'm not sure about this soft matte formula. I don't, it's hard to say because, you know, I'm not, it's just hard to say because I'm not a really big red lipstick wearer, but for me, red lipsticks, uh, the, my favorite ones are from Lisa Eldridge and then Chanel. So I'm kind of 
you know, for me, I'm going to wear this more every day. Uh, in terms of the foundation, you know, I think I did a really good job of warming it up. I think I'll get in close where you can see where, again, it's hard to say because I'm using a studio lighting now, but I think I did a pretty good job of dealing <laughs> with this foundation that is a little bit too light by bronzing it up. And that's just what I do um, sometimes with foundation, especially after I've bought it. I just do my best to work with a lighter foundation and then warm it up with bronzer. Um, I definitely know it's too light for me. I'll wear test it a little bit more. I think it's actually, it reminds me a lot of the Laura Mercier foundation. And I'll put a picture up here. I recently got that it has like it's almost full coverage it's definitely a lightweight and this is a really nice luminous foundation that Laura Mercier is a more of like a soft matte whereas there's almost a luminosity with this foundation and it is quite lovely so if I can get this shade to work I'll try it more the rest of this week if not I will try to see if I can return it and then try to figure out what my actual correct shade is and definitely it's not MW50 as you've seen. I'm actually really happy with all the products that I've got which actually very rarely happens I usually there's usually one thing I don't like I don't it's not that I don't like this foundation it's just a, in not a perfect match so there's just that but everything I've tried is actually really lo lovely the scent has gone away so I'm glad that's gone away it's for you uh, viewers or you beauties who can't do perfume it's actually gone away so that's a good thing for me because I don't like perfume makeup. Okay, so that's it, beauty fam. Remember to subscribe to my channel and like and comment below. Be kind with your comments. If you have something nice to say, go ahead. Um, and if you don't have something nice to say, hold it, keep it to yourself and have some manners because <laughs> I've been getting some comments lately and this is the downside of being a content creator. Just, you know, YouTube is an open channel. You don't know what kind of people are not well, but um, they go ahead and comment, so um, you will be blocked. I will block you if you are not kind and considerate because we don't need that here in this space. Okay, so comment and like below. I really appreciate you, beauty fam. And then let me know uh, what Prada Beauty you are interested in, if you tried any, and what colors and kind of products are you looking forward to trying. I would love to see them do blushes. I didn't do a blush today, I just used contour. Um, but if they came out with blushes and then some... Yeah, blushes would be really cool. Okay, and that's it. Be kind to yourself and others and just be you. Take care of your beauty fam until the next video. Bye.